This training module covers OWASP A3 cross-site scripting. The module is divided into five sections, risk profile, example attack scenarios, preventative measures, discovering vulnerabilities, and reporting incidents. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is the most prevalent web application security flaw. This type of flaw occurs when an attacker sends text-based scripts that exploit the browser's interpreter. If the attack is successful, the attacker can hijack user sessions, deface websites, insert hostile content, redirect users, and so forth. Take a minute to review all of the information on this slide. When you are finished, resume the video. Let's review a cross-site scripting attack scenario example. In this example, the application allows untrusted data to be sent without proper validation or escaping. By changing the CC parameter in the attacker's browser, the victim session ID becomes available to the attacker. Pause the training video here to review this example if needed. There are four primary preventative measures against cross-site scripting. One, properly escape all untrusted data and base this on the HTML context of the data. Two, positive or whitelist server-side input validation although this isn't a complete defense, as many applications require special characters. Three, for rich content, consider auto-sanitization -sanit libraries, such as the ones listed on this slide. And lastly, consider implementing Content Security Policy, a W3C specification, to defend against cross-site scripting across all sites. Fortunately, detecting cross-site scripting vulnerabilities is fairly easy. There are two primary methods for detecting these vulnerabilities, and they should be used in tandem. The first is a manual review, which includes asking yourself and your team if user inputs are properly validated and if you are using safe JavaScript APIs. The second one is automated tools, which can automatically find some cross-site scripting problems. However, because every application builds output pages differently, these tools generally don't discover every problem. This is why manual review is also necessary. This concludes the OWASP A3 cross-site scripting training module. More information can be found at the links listed on this slide. Materials for this module have been derived and adapted from OWASP under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License, which can be viewed at the link listed on this slide.